My name is Kayla Williams. I enlisted in the Army in 2000 and took part of the initial invasion of Iraq in 2003 under General Petraeus as part of the 101st Airborne Division Air Assault. I spent about a year in the Middle East. That's also where I met the man who became my husband who suffered a penetrating traumatic brain injury near Mosul. When I came home, I noticed that most civilians had no idea what military women were accomplishing in today's conflicts. I had people ask if I was allowed to carry a gun because I'm just a girl. Others asked if I was in the infantry, which was still not authorized under regulations. So when I had the opportunity to write a book about my experiences as a female soldier, I jumped at the chance to add some more richness and nuance to that conversation. And that led to me having some role as an advocate on veterans issues and women in the military, women in combat. And I've been very, very pleased to be able to help encourage that proper support and services be available for all veterans as we return home. My husband sustained a penetrating traumatic brain injury in Iraq and subsequently developed post-traumatic stress disorder. His path to recovery has been a very long and challenging road, but the fact that he has stuck to it, continued to get out of bed, continued to make improvements many years later has been incredibly inspirational to me, and it helps drive my passion to figure out how we can get other veterans on that path to recovery. When I wrote my first book, Love My Rifle More Than You, Young and Female in the U.S. Army, I was actually still active duty during most of the writing process and was so emotionally tied to my service, to my time in Iraq, I had no perspective, no distance. I was just absolutely wrapped up in the moment. And looking back on it now, if I were to write it today, it would be a completely different book. I, I had absolutely no... Um, no ability to put my own experiences into a larger context. We didn't even use the word counterinsurgency yet when I was working on my book. So looking back and seeing the experiences I wrote about through the lens of history is very different. And my second book will come out in early 2014. It's plenty of time when we get home, Love and Recovery in the Aftermath of War, about my husband's road to recovery, our joint path to healing as a family. And for that book, I waited a lot longer until I started working on it because I wanted to be able to process the experiences and to look back on them with a little more understanding of, of how things had happened instead of just living in them happening. And as part of that process, I learned a great deal about my role as a caregiver and how challenging it was for me to come to terms with my husband's growth and improvement. It was very hard to let go the control that I had taken over so many aspects of our lives and learn how to encourage him to thrive as his abilities grew and he could take on new challenges, new roles, and new responsibilities. The, the process of writing the book was very therapeutic and educational for me and helping me to look back at the road we had traveled and remember how far we had come from those early days. One of the most important things that I've learned is that change is possible. And if you continue striving, continue trying to learn and to grow, you can do tremendous things. We focus so much on how exposure to trauma can lead in the long run to disorder, and that is absolutely the case. However, with proper support and services, with continued effort, with love, with community, it is also possible to experience, experience post-traumatic growth. For me and for my husband, our combat exposure and my husband's traumatic experiences, while extraordinarily challenging, have also served to deepen our empathy for our fellow man, have served to inspire us to want to make things better for those coming home after us, have really been formative parts of driving my appreciation for how lucky we are to live in America in the modern era and to try to help others reach the next level of their own personal journeys.